Hello friends, Professor Flutterblaster here. You know, it's really a hot day today, so uh, I thought we would work outside here a little bit and talk a little bit about water pressure. Water and air pressure. I've got a regular old bottle of water here, and if I turn it over, look, nothing comes out. Well, you guys are sitting there going, well, of course, Professor Flutterblaster, nothing comes out. You have the cap on. Well, you're absolutely right. But if I take this cap off and I put this cap on, and you can see it has a hole in it, and we turn it over, what do you think is going to happen? Well, nothing comes out. Why doesn't anything come out? Well, it's because there's a certain amount of pressure in this bottle and for water to come out, air has to be able to get back in and it can't exchange. Now, if I take it over here and I squeeze it, obviously I'm adding pressure to the system and water comes back out. Then when I let it go, the air equilibrates. Okay, so let's use that to our advantage. I have another bottle right here and I'm going to hook this bottle has a tornado tube on it Oops, hard to get off which has a hole in it about the same size as the other hole. So if we hook this onto this bottle and then we hook this bottle onto this bottle we now have a closed system. So if we turn it over, we need water and air to exchange for the water to drain out. If we turn it over, what happens? No water moves. Air has to get up into this bottle. Water has to get down into that bottle. Well, let me show you how this works. We're going to make a water vortex which allows air and water to exchange through that hole. If I spin this very hard, what happens is, you can see now we have a water vortex and that water vortex allows the air and the water to exchange. Now, that might have been a little bit difficult to see. So, let's try something else. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to add a little colored oil. And this is special oil. This is lamp oil. And as you guys already know, water and oil do not mix. So if we put a little bit of oil in here, there we go. Water and oil don't mix, and the oil goes up to the top. But if we go ahead and hook up our tornado tube again, and if we create our water vortex, we should be able to see the vortex better. So we're going to turn it over. Nothing moves, but if we move our vortex, as you can see, now we can see the water and air exchanging. The oil stays on top of the water and we can see our vortex drain down into our other tube. Boy, that was beautiful. Wow. There we go. Okay. Let's use, oh, we got a little bit left there, don't we? Let's use that principle. And I wanted to show you this jar. Now, I can go ahead and pour water right into this jar. And if I put this card on top of this jar and quickly turn it over, the card 
should stick. Oh, maybe it's not going to stick. If we take it off, look at that. The water doesn't drain out. Why? Well, because there's no area for the water and air to exchange. How come? Because I have a little screen on there. Now, if I tip it, I can get the water to fly right out. But if you can see, I've put a little screen on there and that screen doesn't allow the air and the water to mix. Okay, let's talk about a practical application for this. Let's talk about an April Fool's trick. I think you might have noticed that I have a bottle of water right here and this bottle of water says do not open. This is a perfect April Fool's trick for your dad. What you do is, is you take a bottle of water like this, it sits there, it says do not open, and of course your dad's going to be curious. So he's going to go ahead and open it. But when he opens it, look you guys, water's coming out of the bottom and it gets your dad all wet. What a great trick. Yeah. Now why does it happen? Well, it's because I put real little holes in the bottom of that. You could do it with a regular old natural spring water, you know, that maybe your mom or dad keep it, keep it in the fridge. So if we poke real little holes in it, as you see, nothing comes out. But the minute that I open it, we have water flying out, get your mom and dad all wet, and it's a great April Fool's trick. So I want you to remember that. Remember about water pressure and see if you can fool your mom or dad. Okay, bye for now.